Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Santanu. There are two figures, two landscapes. In figure one, the nearer trees are drawn smaller than the distant trees. And in figure two, the nearer trees are drawn bigger than the distant trees. There are two huts also. In figure one, the nearer hut is drawn smaller than the distant hut. But in figure two, the distant hut is drawn smaller than the nearer hut. What do you think? Which one is correct? Obviously, figure two. Here comes the term perspective. Perspective. So, perspective is an optical effect in which the nearer objects seem bigger than the distant objects. In other words, we draw nearer objects bigger than the distant objects. So, let's get started. So, perspective, it is an optical effect in which the nearer object seem bigger than the distant object. Clear? Again, perspective is divided into two parts, two types. One is linear perspective And other is aerial perspective. Today we will learn about linear perspective. Linear perspective is again divided into three types. One, perspective based on one point of view. Perspective based on two point of view. And perspective based on three points of view. Today, we will learn thoroughly one point of view. Clear? Let's start with perspective based on one point of view. See here, this is sky and this is ground and where the sky and ground meet is called horizon or horizontal line.
we draw a point here and this is known as point of view in other words it is also called vanishing point see here this is horizontal line and this is vanishing point for the time being we can call it as h dot l horizontal line and vanishing point as dp now we will draw some squares around the vanishing point one square here one square here one square here one square here and here there are five squares all are two dimensional because it has length and breadth which are equal now we are going to convert it into five cubes how let's see join these points with the vanishing points students use ruler by joining the points now this is the upper cube is the another left one and the cubes below the horizontal line understood here why drawing the lines these two lines will be parallel to each other these two lines will be parallel to each other here also these two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel again in the case of this lower box these two lines are parallel to each other and these two lines are also parallel now i am going to show you one more example see here this is horizontal line and this is point of view pv or you may call it as vanishing point horizontal line is also known as i level now
this is a life post which is very near to me join the upper part and the lower part join the light also with dotted lines now where will be the next light post let's see again clear see here the gap between the two light posts are in decreasing order the gap between the first two is bigger than the gap between the second and third and so on now i am going to draw a railway track here keeping this point of view as the vanishing point so we have seen two examples one with the cubes and the other with light posts and railway track this is all about one point of view in the next episode we will learn about perspective based on two point of view and afterwards three point of view also thanks for watching hope you like my video if there is any suggestion please write it in the comment box below Please like it subscribe it bye